Good evening, good evening. <laughs> Shout out to Minister Kai. Good to see you, my brother. I'm going to bring you in in just a second. Shout out to all of you that are on the stream tonight. We have an interesting topic tonight, a very uh, needed subject tonight that is not often talked about, especially in this modern day time. Uh, I will tell you, folks, it seems that the modern day time is OK with what's wrong being right and what's right being wrong. So, I mean, God has been basically pushed out of the top spot and we already know Jesus has certainly been pushed out of the top spot. But we intend to bring that all back to your mind tonight in this conversation that, again, is very overlooked. And uh, like I said, with things looking as if what's wrong is right and what's right is wrong, uh, there's come to be a normality with how people behave. And I'll be honest with you, most people don't even realize uh, that they are in error, to be honest with you. We can't assume that everybody realizes that they're in error. A lot of people don't know. They don't realize. And I'll tell you why, in my humble, humble opinion, they believe they're in error. They don't believe they're in error. It's because the individuals in the earth that are held with the responsibility and the task and the commission to teach those that are in error the things that God desires for us to do in the earth. They have also sold themselves out to the powers. And I'm talking about the principalities. I'm not talking about the United States government. No, I'm not talking about political issues. Although political issues have its place. I will tell you this. Most people have sold themselves out and don't realize it. They really don't realize it. That's why you need those that do know. Those that are awake. Those that follow the most high. Uh, to be bold and speaking thus saith the Lord not what the society says is correct or what tradition says is correct no because I will tell you this I believe a lot in a lot of ways I believe religion in and of itself has taken the back seat to the truth they've decided to give in and give over to tradition and to what societal norms deem as acceptable. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, for those of you that hear my stream now and those of you that hear it later, if you desire to stand on the side of truth as it relates to what God agrees with and what he doesn't agree with, understand this, folks. Make no mistake about it. You are not going to be popular. No, you're not going to be popular. But if you're looking to be popular, all you got to do is don't tell the truth. If you're looking to be accepted, uh, all you have to do is go along to get along. And that's all you have to do. All you have to do is know what's right and then be afraid to speak what is wrong. If you know what's right and won't speak it, if you know what's against the laws of God, which you know what's against what is deemed moral, ethical, and righteous in terms of conduct and behavior and ideas and attitudes. If you're refusing to stand up on your own ten toes with boldness and speaking, then you're going along to get along. And as long as you're willing to do that, I will speak to those of you that consider yourself called by God. You know, men of the cloth. If you, if those of you that have called yourself individuals that you believe you were called by God, that's the responsibility. And I'll tell you, and you, those of you that have not taken a position in a faith where you are a mouthpiece for God, meaning you're in terms of your minister or pastor you also have a responsibility you have a responsibility to still tell the truth lest you put yourself on the side of the fence of the immoral 
lest you put yourself on the side of the fence of those who have agreed to go along with the narrative. And the narrative is what's wrong is right. And what's right is wrong. You see the subject tonight, folks. Defending the faith in a world that has turned its back on God. I will ask you a question. Have you, my viewers that watch this stream, have you also turned your back on God? Have you? Only you can answer that question. Your attitude, your, your behavior, your conduct, the things you talk about, the things you discuss, the things you find funny, the things you find interesting, what moves you, what pushes your button? You have to make a decision and a, 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 a determination as to how you are and how you behave. Is it in line with what would be considered good? Huh. Good is a very good word. I'll tell you why. There were some disciples that came to Christ and said, good master. You know what he said to them in response? He said, why dost thou call us me good? Because there is none good but the father. So when we say good morning, we're saying we're, we're giving reverence to something that only God can make happen. And that is the morning coming into play. When we say good night, it's the same thing. We're giving reverence to God, who is the only good thing in the earth and outside of the earth we're giving reverence to god this is what we're saying when we say good morning and when we say good evening and good night this is what we're saying because the, again there is nothing good no one is good but the father even those of us who consider ourselves righteous who consider ourselves living a life for god even god had to let us know don't get too big on yourself don't don't get too haughty in your behavior he said uh, because all of your righteousness is as filthy rags unto God. That's to keep you humble. That's to keep you in your place so that you don't think you're too big for your shoes, you know? But if we watch those that are held with the responsibility today in modern day time, we can watch all of the Creflo Dollars and the T.D. Jakes and the Kirk Franklins, and we can just simply go down the list, all of whom have sold themselves out. They don't believe in what their original faith was. Come back to the original belief of what you, uh, of when, when you once believed. What is going on, folks, with this society? Haven't you uh, had the feeling in, within yourselves that there's truly something going on? And I'll tell you what's going on. We're getting closer and closer and closer. In fact, we are more closer today than we have ever been to what we've known and heard our entire lives. And that is the return huh, of the Messiah, no doubt. Now, some of you that watch my stream may not believe this. And if that's the case, then I'm talking to you. That's what this whole stream is really all about. Again, defending the faith in a world that has turned itself against God, turned themselves, turned their backs against God. The whole society, not just within the United States, but even outside the country, they have turned their backs on God. Facts. And I don't care whether you believe it or not. All you have to do is pay attention to your own conduct. You don't have to look at the society as a whole. Look at your own personal conduct. How does your conduct line up with what would be moral? What would be conducive to any righteous behavior? Now, mind you, I, like Paul, in paraphrasing, have not arrived. And I'm sure you haven't either. None of us, folks, none of us are perfect. None of us are righteous. God said that. All of our righteousness is as dirty, filthy rags. But if the key is, the key is in God's grace and mercy. He takes the broken pieces. He takes the shortcomings of our lives. He takes the things of us that he already knew. He already knew. He already knew these things about us. He knew what we would do long before we knew what we would do, before we even a thought in our parents' mind. He already knew what we would become, what we would uh, participate in. 
And it's because of that same grace and mercy that he extends to all of us, that gives us the opportunity to recognize a society that we live in right now, where they're now promoting same-sex marriage, totally distorting the whole foundation of what marriage was even meant to be. Everything about this society is about pushing God and what he said is right out the window. I'm certain that many of you, all of you that watch this stream can attest to the fact that you have the same experiences within yourself and within your own family. So this is not my idea. This is a reality that most of us and all of us have experienced, that are experiencing, and uh, in many cases that we're struggling with right now within ourselves. Some of us can't get off pornography. Some of us can't stay off pornography. And I can tell you in my young years, younger years, I had the same struggle, man. Listen, I'm not talking to you as a perfect man. I had the same issues, man, you know? Uh, yeah, I had an issue with a lot of things, I will tell you. All of my issues are the same issues that I've had in the past, some that I've overcome and some that I still continue to struggle with and can still continue to need God's assistance in giving me strength with. And see, here that's that in lies the whole subject of tonight. If you are willing to come face to face with yourself, it's the hardest image that you'll ever have to look at. If you are willing to come face to face with yourself, I will tell you again, it is the hardest image that you will ever have to come face to face with because we are ugly, man. And we are ugly, no matter how attractive you think you are. When stripped down bare, you'll find every infirmity, every weakness that's within yourself. And it's only then that you can say, God, I need your help, man. I, Lord, I need your help. However you want to discuss and have that conversation with God. You know, I need help. I need you to step in in the places that I don't have the strength to step in myself. Herein lies the problem too with us. We think we can fix things in our own strength. No one has ever been successful at doing that. Everyone tries to do it. I know, I tried. <laughs> I tried with a lot of things. <laughs> and failed miserably, <laughs> failed miserably, <laughs> failed miserably, you know? We always think we know more than God. We always think we're smarter than God, that we're more intelligent than God. And we also then rely on societal ideas, societal acceptance to be and to take precedence over what God said is right and moral and correct. At the end of the day, your eternal existence is what you need to be paying attention to. Fear not the man that can take your body. Oh, you better fear the one that can take your body and your soul. Because that's the one you need to be afraid of. That's the one you need to have a healthy, righteous fear for. I'm not talking about afraid like you're afraid of the person breaking in your house. No, I'm not talking about that kind of fear. I'm talking about that, that fear of reverence to something bigger than yourself to a God that can take your breath the moment you close your eyes at night. And if you don't believe that, I would love someone to type. Do you know what time you fell asleep last night? No. All you know is that you felt sleepy. You don't know exactly what time you fell asleep, nor do any of us understand what time we awakened in the morning. We can say we can blame it on the alarm clock. Yeah, I know. We think the alarm clock woke us up. I know. We think the person that shook us on the bed and said, uh, hey, get up. We think that's what woke us up. We think the loud bang in the house or something that fell off the dresser or the table. We think the doorbell that rang. We think so many things and all of what we think excludes God and his power to execute life and death. He is the only one that controls life and death. Remember that. So nothing woke you up. It wasn't your alarm clock. That's a mechanical instrument that man made. So is the doorbell. And the individual that shook you, God woke them up. So you can't give them the credit either. 
I just want to give us some clarity and bring us back down to earth. You know, bring us back down to the realization of what keeps us breathing every single day. Because I will tell you this as my last statement before I bring in my special guests. If God didn't give you and I our last, our breath, our next breath, you and I could not run fast enough to catch it. Uh, I'm going to say that again. If God did not give you and I our, our next breath, you and I could not run fast enough to catch it. So we're going to get some clarity tonight, folks. And again, I thank all of you that got on the stream tonight. I'm going to ask all of you that got on via Facebook to type in the name because Facebook is not showing me who you are. They're just showing me that you're there. So uh, type in your name. I want to shout out. I'm going to just call off some comments that were made. I don't know exactly because I can't see your name. I apologize to you, but I appreciate you getting on the stream tonight. Uh, I see one individual said, I am watching you. Thank you for getting on the stream tonight. I appreciate you. Uh, another individual said, speak that, bruh. I intend to by the grace of God. <laughs> I of myself can say or do nothing. But I'm asking God to give me the words and the mindset to get this stream across. And I hope and pray that what I say and what my special guest will say, Minister Kai Muhammad, will say, will help somebody will help somebody get clarity in a world again that has turned its back on god shout out to gail for getting on the stream tonight um shout out to someone that said we ugly oh yeah we are <laughs> we are so again with that being said i appreciate all of you i'm going to bring in my special guest that i'm super excited to have on the stream tonight and we're going to rebuke every evil thing <laughs> that intends to get in the way of this stream tonight you know <laughs> for sure so um before i begin i want to say to uh lord let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight our rock and our redeemer amen let's get into it let's get into it <laughs> Suku, my brother what's going on my brother how you doing okay let me uh i think you're i may have to put my earphones on yeah let me see i was hoping i didn't have to do that but that's all right that's all right you still look good don't worry about it <laughs> you as well my brother you as well <laughs> oh, shout out to margaret i see you how you doing mom i love you glad to have you on the stream tonight <laughs> So all my moderators, please put a one in the chat room if the sound is good. If the music in the back is too loud, let me know right away so I can uh, turn the sound down in the back. If you can hear me well, put a one in the chat box. And all of you that are on the uh, stream, please mute. Please mute your sound in the back. That way we don't receive echo outside of myself and the and the brother of the minister who's on the panel tonight mute your mute your microphones i hear a slight echo i'm not sure if that's coming from you brother minister i got uh yeah it should be down now okay all right awesome 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 so how you doing today my brother man i tell you what god is great <laughs> God, yes, it is for sure, for sure. <laughs> good to have you, man. You look good, oh, my brother. Man, I tell you, last time we've seen each other like this, man, it's been decades. So uh, yes, I'm super excited, super excited. Yes, sir. <laughs> Very good to see you, man. So, uh, what's your, what's your take, uh, beloved, on this particular topic? From coming from a position you're in, and uh, how many years have you been uh, ministering and pastoring? How many years? uh ministry 25 years pastoring wow. seven uh man you've been hitting me knocking it out the park i was sitting here smiling while you were talking because i'm like uh you've always been that uh eloquently spoken guy so i'm like they're gonna get they're gonna get a little bit of uh highways and hedges tonight so uh <laughs> so i'm looking forward to this uh i mean you were spot on uh uh, we're in a place now where we're, we're actually reaping what we've sown. 
and yes. um and and again you just hit so many points i was thinking about our conversation just the other evening when we spoke and um i'm calling out the called out ones that's what i'm doing i'm calling out the called out ones and when i come i'm not attacking you i'm attacking that spirit so right, right. um Right. When, when I saw that you had posted uh, the whole armor of God, and I often tell my people when we look at that, um, the thing we have to remember is uh, we're not battling against flesh and blood. So in a nutshell, people are not our problem. That's right. So uh, so I'm looking I'm looking Ooh. forward to this time spent with you. And um, I, I believe we're going to uh uproot some things tear down some things with the help of the almighty so i'm looking forward to this yes sir that was something very important that you just said we're not we're not fighting people a lot of people think uh and this is because of the society created the narrative against principles that are correct and right mm -hmm. so that if you say something and it goes against the grain of what the society has deemed as right even though we know it's an abject error mm -hmm. so then you're you're titled as here's what i hear uh don't judge people and usually people that say that is because they don't know scripture so they read it out of context mm -hmm. you know not to not judge and i hear a lot of you know a lot of rappers and singers they they tend to get these tattoos i mean uh tupac shapur he was big on that he said uh, he made a whole song only god can judge me that was to push off any bad behavior that's a that's usually a deflective defense mechanism that people use they say don't judge me only god can judge me well i will say uh, for those of you that hear the stream if you never understood that verse um taking out of context it means you're pushing back against anybody trying to give you any correction yeah. but in truth not to judge means you're not to judge those that are doing what you're guilty of yourself mm -hmm. that's what the mm -hmm. verse means if mm -hmm. i'm guilty of going into porn uh watching porn i can't judge you against watching porn because i'm guilty mm -hmm. of it and therefore the judgment falls back on me right Right. If I'm guilty of going into, you know, go-go bars and I'm judging you, I'm saying to you, hey, you, know, you shouldn't go into go-go bars. Mm -hmm. Then I'm being a hypocrite. At the same time, I'm also judging you incorrectly so that judgment falls back on me. But mm -hmm. if I call out error and that I'm not guilty of, I'm doing exactly what that scripture is telling me to do. There's right. never been anything against you judging at all. That's not mm -hmm. what the scripture mm -hmm. means. We have mm -hmm. judges in court. <laughs> you know and people judge each other all the time it, it's just that individual in, in error never want anybody to call out that error so mm -hmm. i just wanted to say that but mm -hmm. and uh if we look at the society today minister kai it's getting it's so ugly today it's so ugly today mm -hmm. that uh the darkness is so thick mm -hmm. that you can feel it everywhere you go with mm -hmm. almost every individual that you meet mm -hmm. and uh it's, it's you're hard pressed to have a conversation with anyone as it relates yeah. to god or anything else yeah that's uh morally correct or righteous well the reason why i say that i mean i love that uh, i have a lyric in one of my songs that says uh, evil has come out of the closet and righteousness has decided <laughs> to hide you know, and, and, and it's sad <laughs> because the only reason why we see much so much darkness is because the light refuses to shine, you That's know. And, and again, That's that goes it. back to responsibility, just pretty much exactly what you've been saying. Um, you know, um, they say what we believe and what we say is offensive, right. but it was meant, to, it was meant to be offensive. Right. You know, and exactly. so it was meant to be offensive. So I had this conversation with you the other night, man. Um, what we're issuing and what we're handing out, uh, we can't worry about giving an explanation or, or be apologetic right. because it's coming from a place of love. You know, right. um, in the military, you, we use a terminology uh, called uh, tightening our shot group. You know, yeah. if my brother here, you know, sees me in error and he's not tightening my shot group, it's gonna hurt us both in the, in the end. 
That's you right. Know? And so, and, and you're going to do that in love and you can, Hey, I, I'm, I'm counting on you. <laughs> so it's up to you to help tighten my shot group, but we're too uh, concerned about offending people. And again, yes. uh, we have to find a way to articulate that, Hey, I'm not coming after you. I'm coming after that thing that's in you. That's you right. Know? That's right. That's right. That's right. And, uh, a lot of what the what also what I've noticed uh, of if you know my background, um, I grew up in the I came up in the nation of Islam, mm -hmm. and one thing that was clearly paramount in terms of the teaching was that God is a man, and so for many years I held to that idea, you know, and I looked and deemed brothers and sisters who were in the church as spooky ah oh, you're spooky <laughs> you're spooky man and uh mm -hmm. and not only that but the teaching is heaven and hell are two conditions of life mm. and that when you leave this earth that's it mm. You know, Satan is clever, man. Yes, he is. He is so yes, he is. clever. Yes, he He's is. So clever. Yes. You know, to to remove the salvation story mm -hmm. entirely from the message mm -hmm. is to set you up to go straight to hell, no matter who yep. you are, yep. Yep. no matter what you think about. And here's the thing. Yep. And here's the thing. I always say to people all the time, and because I hear this a lot too. Oh, the Bible, it's a, it's a white man's book. Uh, the white man made that book. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that was a book designed to keep you black man and woman enslaved. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's mm -hmm. let's go there. What yep. I always say yep. to people, let's go there. Because yep. I'll tell yep. you this. Uh, can Satan cast out Satan? Lest his house fall. Because I will right. tell you this. The Bible condemns us. That's, That's right. what the Bible is. It's against us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and for us all at the same mm -hmm. time if we yep. want to make the right choice yep yep but there's nothing in the scripture that doesn't hurt it goes in sweet but it becomes bitter in the belly mm -hmm. so you still mm -hmm. want to mm -hmm. be convicted by what you hear yeah. that's right that's why they call it a two-edged sword yes sir that's both ways that's both ways <laughs> that's right that's right yes mm -hmm. sir so you know i i look at all of these different concepts and ideas and mentalities and all of it is designed to do the same thing you know it's designed to just pull people away from god i tell people all the time if you think for one minute um that satan is looking to give you anything without a price then you're sadly mistaken yeah. you know yeah. and if the world loves you and they're all appraising you and applauding you you already know you need to go back and reevaluate your walk because something's wrong you should yep. be disliked that's right that's right you should be isolated in many ways yep. make people uncomfortable when you walk right in the room. when you walk that's in a room right. that's right their conversation should stop yep. and they should feel like you said uncomfortable it mm -hmm. you know and uh and if they're not then you know you need to go back and probably reevaluate mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know and uh and the thing is, and I will tell you, folks, for those of you that hear the stream, it's the worst of us that God uses. It's not the best of us. Yep. So don't yep. feel bad if you're yep. living bad. If you're living yep. bad, that gives God an opportunity to show his power in your life. So yep. Yep. it's not an issue of whether you are suffering with alcoholism, if you're suffering with drug addiction, ladies, if you're out there loosely giving your body away for free in most cases however you're living it doesn't matter that gives god the opportunity to come into your life and change it he has to get the glory in your life so there he'll he'll allow the bad situations to happen in your life there it is and mind you i know you're probably saying what he allows it yeah he does mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because satan can do nothing to any of us without getting permission he's not That's the right. boss That's understand right. that he's not in charge That's you right. know it's nice to know that he still have to answer to somebody That's right. That's right. Uh, but so do you if mm -hmm. you give over and give mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. like many of us do 
and I, like you, have not arrived. But simply having this kind of conversation gives God glory. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And it makes mm -hmm. Satan angry at this kind of conversation. So yeah. we're going to we just yeah. we're going to keep making him mad tonight by talking mm -hmm. about God and mm -hmm. giving God some glory because that's what it's really all about. Defending the faith in a world that has turned its back on mm -hmm. God has become a thing of the past, you know? And uh most people are looking for popularity and fame, you know? They've turned the message of the gospel into a motivational speech. Yeah. Sad, really yep. sad. Yep. You know, yep. Yep. The, the message yep. is no longer bringing people to repentance at all to change anything mm -hmm. in their life. And we all mm -hmm. need change. Mm -hmm. But yep. you don't hear a message like that any longer. Now it's about mm -hmm. money and it's about touch your neighbor. No, keep your hands yep. to yourself. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> Stop touching your neighbor. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Stop touching your neighbor. <laughs> you know, keep your hands to yourself. You know, and do more praying for yourself as yeah. opposed to asking yeah. others to pray for you. You know, right. I don't know. How okay. do you, what's your take on that uh, concept there, Minister Kai? I tell you, um, I, I go back to COVID-19. Um, COVID-19 exposed a lot of people, uh, a lot of people. Um, once you weren't able to conduct a show, once you weren't able to perform the theatrics, you didn't know what to do. A lot of, yeah. them, a lot of them who called themselves pastors, ministers, and all these other names, um, they were forced to be true to who they were. And since you couldn't collect the dollars, and, 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 and because you couldn't run around, jump, spit, and slobber, and knock chairs over, <laughs> folks didn't know what to do. And so um, it, it was a good way for God to expose us, as well as give us an opportunity to go to the place where he wanted us, was intimate with him. Sad to say, yeah. a lot of people have missed that opportunity. Right. And, and you were talking, and, and 1 Timothy 6 talks about false teachers. Mm. And, um, and, and you know, just what you were saying, um, you know, not wanting to, to speak truth. We talked about this the other night. They, they'll give you facts, yeah, but yeah. They, won't, they won't give you truth. You right. know, and they can't, they can't take the <laughs> truth. And, and they'll argue with you, you know, because they're good debaters, but they That's have right. nothing solid to stand on. And when it all comes down to it, you kept throwing that you kept throwing that thing out there tonight which was ego i had a conversation with one of my members the other day and i was letting them know that when i think of ego i think of three words exiting god out and i'm like that's the problem in our world today is is we're, we're too busy thinking about us to where we, we we leave no room for the lord at all that's right and so um sooner or later we we will find ourselves to come into this place and um you know, we like to pick and choose sins. You know, that's the right. thing too. We like right. to pick and choose. So if you sin different than me, then you're worse than I am. Mm. And um and that's so, so when I, I looked at that Very and true. I was telling folks, I said instead of us, we need to call it all out. You know, so right. we need to call it all out. And we need to understand one of the greatest sins that we can actually commit. That's right. Is when we look at the creation and fall in love with the creation to a point where we forget about the creator. Right. You know, because right. that's that Romans one stuff right there. When when God decided to give them up, it wasn't because they were homosexuals, they were thieves. It was right. Because hey, you love this more than you love me, so guess what? You can have it. Now, what greater mm. penalty? What greater penalty right. can that be? You know. Right. And so here we are. That's where we are right now. And yeah. And, and so I appreciate what you do on here, because yeah. thank you, brother. What you're, appreciate what you're you. doing is not easy because it goes against the grain. And so I encourage you there. And so, yeah, we have to have a few <laughs> that'll take the responsibility to just go ahead and say, okay, you don't like me, but I'm okay because God loves me. So I'm That's right. Take it. So I just want right. to encourage you on that piece and keep, you know, keep doing that. But yeah, I mean, we have turned so far away from God that we're seeing the evidence of that. And That's right. And, and so what we try to do instead is we legalize sin to make it okay. Yeah. Or... Again, you know I'm gonna be part of crossing tonight. So, 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 so we sexify, we sexify sin to make it nice and glamorous. Right, right. And, 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 and so, 
those are the things that that the enemy has done to to trap our folks and especially our children and our young people that's right. the reason why our generations are suffering so much because those of us who know better have punked right. out we have punked out we, we've not accepted responsibility and even though we know better, we've chosen to conform instead of actually allowing the Lord to transform our thinking. That's right. That's right. That's right. That is so true, brother. That is so true. Uh, I, in light of that, I want to read a verse. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to this. And when you get an opportunity, go and get your Bible. Don't go buy your Bible. Go get your Bible. Because, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of us say, I go buy my Bible. But... The thing is, you're going by your Bible, but you're not going in it. So go buy mm -hmm. your Bible and then go in it. And mm -hmm. you'll go to Isaiah 5th chapter 20th verse. It says, woe unto them that call evil good and good mm -hmm. evil. That mm -hmm. put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe mm -hmm. unto them. Now, when God says woe, he's telling you whoa like he's like a warning he's like warning you you know woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and we can mm -hmm. see the society today they all believe that they're wise in yep. their own eyes yep yep, yep. science yep. has replaced mm -hmm. science has replaced the wisdom of god mm -hmm. yep. and push god yep. right out again right out of the top spot yep, yep. you know all based on science cause mm -hmm. and effect that whole concept mm -hmm. of cause and effect. Yep. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty mm -hmm. to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink, which justify the wicked for mm -hmm. reward and take away mm -hmm. the righteousness of the righteous from him. Now listen to this part right here. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff so their root shall be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust because mm. they have cast away the law of the lord of hosts and despised the word of the holy one of israel mm -hmm. now here's where folks listen to this this is how god feels about it yep. in the 25th verse it says therefore is the anger of the lord kindled against his people and believe me folks he's angry Mm -hmm. God is a jealous God mm -hmm. And like mm -hmm. a husband is jealous When someone is coming after his wife <laughs> That mm -hmm. same kind of anger Imagine it quadrupled mm -hmm. You know Therefore is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people And, the, and he hath strengthened for, Stretched forth his hand Against them And have smitten them And the hills mm -hmm. did tremble And their carcasses were torn In the midst of the streets for all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Mm -hmm. See, that's the mercy of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we know that mm -hmm. verse, if you could find that from your end, Minister Kai, where it talks about my people who are called by my name. If my people who are called by my name to humble themselves, pray, seek my face, Damn. turn from their wicked ways, yes. then I will hear from heaven and heal their land yes 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 and see yes. and see and see that's the thing what the society likes to teach as it relates to god is that he's uh god loves us unconditionally uh, uh you stand you have to be corrected oh uh, no that's not true yeah no he yeah. does love us but it is based mm -hmm. on conditions yeah it is based on conditions yes. that very yeah. verse that minister kai just read tells you that god has conditions he said yes. if whenever you hear yep. if in anything yep. that's the condition yep. <laughs> that means if you don't yep. the opposite is true yep you yep. know the opposite well, i got is true. i got proof of that bro um and i'm gonna read it from another interpretation go right ahead um if you go to proverbs chapter one okay he says because i have called you and you refuse to listen have stretched out my hand and mm. no one has heeded because you have ignored all my counsel and would have none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock, I will mock when terror strikes you. When terror strikes you like a storm and your calamity comes like a whirlwind, when wow. distress and anguish come upon you, wow. then they will call upon me 
but I will not answer. Mm. They will seek me diligently, but will not find me. See, wow. we need to understand that there are consequences wow. for rebellion. Wow. See, we always want to talk about a God of love, but he is also a God of wrath. He says that he will not have another God before him. That's and right. so I tell folks that once we have this truth, that makes us responsible. You know, you have you have children and, and when right. you love them and, and, and they're and they're being disobedient, you chastise them because you don't want them to go to that point. But sometimes your punishments have to be a little bit more severe That's right. until they finally come around. It's the same That's thing right. with the father he says, hey, Charles, I love you too much to leave you this way. That's you right. know, and that's what he's saying to his people. But there's another yep. thing I want to say too, there, brother, is I want to I want to go against this lie here okay. that everyone says that we're all God's children. That's not true. We're all that's God's not, creation. That's not true. You're right. We're all we're all His creation. But until you come into Christ, the Father sees you as an enemy. That's because of your rebellious nature. That's people don't want to hear that. So fact. I'm always when people are getting to that whole thing where we're all God's children, I'm like, no, don't be lying on my father like that. <laughs> you know, that's right. don't do that. You know, <laughs> that's and, right. and that's the thing a lot of people don't want to hear as well. That's right. But I mean, that's in the word to let you know that before this, you were considered an enemy. You that's know, right. but by his grace, you've been given the opportunity. That's to right. The tree of life. That's right. That is absolutely correct, and uh, and that's that's a that's a very good point too, uh, Minister Kai, because what the society would have you believe again is that he accepts everything, and uh, he's a loving God, and that and what loving God wouldn't accept you and to come as you are? Yeah, you're right. He does accept all of us mm -hmm. to come as we are, mm -hmm. but not to stay as we are. Say and, that. And Say therein that. lies, therein lies the human struggle, mm -hmm. the human struggle, because he mm -hmm. said that in this flesh dwelleth no good thing. Mm -hmm. Your body will always seek to please itself in the flesh. Mm -hmm. The human being, period, myself, none of us are excluded. Mm -hmm. You will always struggle until mm -hmm. the end of your physical life mm -hmm. to fight against the flesh that's calling for you to do something else mm -hmm. outside of the will of God. Your flesh is always trying to pull you away from the will of God constantly mm -hmm. yep. constantly 24 hours a day um you may rest but satan <laughs> never rests mm -mm. he's on the job 24 mm -hmm. hours yep. a day even yep. when you're asleep yep even when yep. you're asleep he's working yep. on your mind while you're yep. asleep yep you wonder why you had these bad dreams you wonder why when you wake up you're in a bad mood and nobody did anything to you mm. you, you were asleep Mm. who could have bothered you in your sleep mm. but you wake up in a bad wicked evil mood mm -hmm. now you're mad at everybody for no reason yeah. you know um he's constantly dealing with you and mm -hmm. us you know mm -hmm. and uh the thing is until we can come back to the things of god i believe all of us we're gonna mm -hmm. always have this unnecessary struggle because it's always going to be a struggle but the mm -hmm. fight becomes so much harder when we fight against the things that we know could help us and uh and and no one can help us but god no one can help us no one individual can help us the way god can help us yep. so yep. Yep. yeah man i i i, I, want, I, I, want, I love that man i like yeah. that i want to chime in on that if that's okay though because yeah go right what ahead. you go said right that what you said was 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 good stuff and, and and the reason why cats can't fight though is they're not armed you said it they'll walk by their bible but they won't get in their right. bible now right. see when we look at the whole That's armor true. there's only yeah. one weapon the, the only weapon we have is the word so right. if you don't have That's the right. word with this truth because truth is what holds the belt that holds everything up That's if right. you don't have truth you'll fall for every lie that the enemy tells you that's true that's and you'll true. settle for you'll settle for facts but the, the facts is okay look i got a headache but the truth is he says <laughs> you know what by by my by his stripes we're healed See, because we don't know truth we fall for facts and lies and so that's right and so that's the reason why um, our minds are able to be uh invaded by the enemy because we're not worded up we're not girded up you know we're that's malnutrition true. we don't have a, we right. don't have anything to fight for fight with that's, you know that's right uh, and so i love when you said that you know a lot of people have a bible at home a lot of people will that's go right. past their Bible, but a lot of people are not going into their Bible. And, and the funny right. thing is, is 
a lot of us have head knowledge, but we don't have heart knowledge. That's you know, true. and so we say that that's 18 inches from here to here, and that word has to go from here to here. But so many times, for so many people, it don't make it that far, and yeah. that's the reason why they're vulnerable. That's the reason why he's just like a, a, a roaring lion. He's not really a lion, but he's making right. a whole lot of noise. But, but he is definitely seeking whom he may devour, and what he's that's doing, right. he's picking up easy prey because people aren't ready to. They right. don't have anything to fight. Ooh, that was a good point. Folks, did you hear that? He's picking up easy prey. If you look at the animal kingdom, when the animal is praying, going about praying on the animal that he wishes to attack and eat and devour, he doesn't go after, if you notice, he watches the pride. He watches the group. Mm -hmm. And he looks for the youngest, weakest, most inexperienced mm -hmm. animal within that pride. Mm -hmm. And he'll creep until the younger one can't keep up with the pride. That's when he'll speed up to take the pride and devour that mm -hmm. pride. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe all of us represent that young animal that's in that pride when we don't mm -hmm. understand what God wants us to do, what he commands us to do. We don't know the word. Most mm -hmm. of us, I, to my sad regret, I, I would say that probably 80 percent of us that uh have a bible don't know anything that's in it we really don't yeah. uh, we we've yeah. trusted and relied on ministers pastors to tell us what's in that book mm -hmm. and uh instead of us going home to read the book ourselves that's why we don't know what's going on with our car because you've never touched you've never even read the uh when Never under the hood. Yep. You ain't never, never touched the owner's hood. manual. <laughs> you never went under the hood. You never touched yep. the owner's manual. <laughs> yep. 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 You don't know what's going on yep. with that car. So yep. you have to rely on a mechanic to do for you mm -hmm. that you probably would have had an idea about if you had simply read the owner's manual. Well, yep. that's what the Bible is. Yep. It's basic instructions before leaving earth. <laughs> yep. Yep. And yep. Uh, that's our owner's manual. And who yep. best knows how to tell us how to maintain this life that we have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. except the creator yeah you know yeah. who's best well, qualified to is, tell us that and the sad thing with us too bro is is we just want to be entertained so uh, we uh, just want to be entertained so let uh, me go there let me go there uh, just for a minute we we, we we like to spit and slop and hoot and holler oh man but but uh, again you pull out ephesians 6 and you laid it <laughs> out on on your on your thing and it messed me up because I don't know how many times I've heard sermons on Ephesians 6, but no one really broke that down to teach me when I was younger that it was about spiritual warfare. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So a yes, lot of sir. times we, we've been preached to, but a lot of us haven't been taught anything. Yes. You know, that's the difference. You know, sure. and so that's the sad thing is, is folks can go back home after a service and talk about the antics. They can talk about the excitement. I had a young right. person say, yeah, I miss the energy of being in church i'm like okay that's what he said so i said the energy but i'm like just because you feel energy doesn't mean it's the right energy right you know or you said i felt the spirit hey there are many spirits do you get what i'm saying yes. so i'm sitting here like that's the thing that we're we need to make sure our folks are, are taught that's right and so uh, again all the theatrics that's why like i said when COVID 19 came a lot of churches went dead because yeah. the lights went off the mics right. were turned off That's and right. you couldn't perform anymore but That's right. that that exposed a lot of people and so yes. again i really appreciate I'm, I'm keeping going back to this because like i said yeah. people need to be taught you know uh line by line precept by precept exactly you know and and it drives me nuts when i think of how many messages i have listened to in my life that yes. were topical based off of a word right and taken out of context out of the book that's right you know and so then we wonder why we see so many people falling short and they're, they're ill-equipped it's because right. they have no truth in them that's a fact they have no truth in them so yeah i, I really appreciate this man this is yeah this is good stuff for me tonight i've been waiting yes, on this sir. bro <laughs> <laughs> yes sir <laughs> i'm happy to have you on tonight brother oh, i really man. am I and I and I thank all of you that jumped on the stream tonight. Uh, I really do. I'm going to find a way to make it available for you to share it because I think this is a stream that should be shared. Uh, 
I think every stream that's useful to someone should be shared. And uh, yeah, but uh, so, you know, but this is something that's critical because we're, we're getting to the end of things and, and we need to be paying attention to what we're getting to, to the end of. You know, mm -hmm. the, you saw the the um, the background picture putting on the whole armor. Ephesians, that's Ephesians six eleven, folks, eleven through yep. eighteen. So put on the yep. whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles. What are the wiles? The wiles are the tricks. You know, mm -hmm. that's when you get bamboozled, led astray. Mm -hmm. You know, knocked mm -hmm. upside your head with falsehood. Mm -hmm. That's the wiles. And mm -hmm. he has many devices. Yep. So it says, stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against mm -hmm. flesh and blood. And that goes back to what you said in the beginning of the stream, Minister Kyle, when you said, we're not wrestling against people because we're not. We're not. We're not attacking the individual necessarily, but we are attacking mm -hmm. the behavior. We're mm -hmm. attacking that. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, the individual and the behavior become one when you remain yep. rebellious yep there it but is. in the inception in the beginning we're attacking the behavior so it's about you understanding it that way but society makes you believe makes people believe that again if you attack the behavior you're attacking the individual itself themselves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's just to get them to reject you and pull back yeah. from you yeah. you know we yeah. wrestle not against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual mm -hmm. wickedness yep. that's the key mm -hmm. spiritual wickedness in high places mm -hmm. wherefore mm -hmm. take unto you the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day what's the evil day folks that's today that's the mm -hmm. day we're living in yeah you know can i add to that Yes, go Can right ahead. That? Yes, sir. So yes, you sir. want to know what that is? Hey, what's uh, that? that evil day is when all hell breaks loose and has it not. <laughs> yes, you it know? has. Let's just think about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes, it has. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> and having done all to stand, I think we, a lot of us, uh, I will tell you, when you're trying to, when you're trying to do right, um, mm -hmm. it's not something that's easy to do. So mm -hmm. anybody that tell you it's easy to go after the things of God. It's easy to live for God. It's eaten up. That's the hardest job you'll ever have. Because while you're in this physical flesh, mm -hmm. it's constantly fighting against you. Mm -hmm. So that's where your time with God comes into play. That's where your staying in the word comes into play. So you can hear his voice and start to be able to discern what his voice sounds like. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's so many voices in the world today. So many mm -hmm. voices mm -hmm. via social media, via the yep. television, via the radio, videos, you mm -hmm. know, um, mm -hmm. these things do a lot to give voice to your attitude and your behavior and how you think. Mm -hmm. But you won't know that you won't know any other voice if that's all you're entertaining yourself with. Yep. Yep. And scripture yep. is what we have so that we can discern the voice. You know, yeah, we got an old saying there. So you are yeah. what you eat, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yep. You are what you eat. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Mm. I'm going to finish reading this part here. It says uh, on the evil day, we stopped. It says, having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. What truth? Mm -hmm. That's what the word of God is telling us to do. Mm -hmm. and having on the breastplate of righteousness mm -hmm. that means you're protecting yourself against those fiery darts that are being shot at you mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation the helmet of salvation is simply knowing the word of god i believe mm -hmm. not having that helmet on is what has people so deceived mm -hmm. you know and uh, that's what has people deceived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yep. yeah, and it says, go, it says here, um, and the sword of spirit, which the word of God, pray, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance, supplication for all saints. Now, I think a key word here is perseverance. Mm -hmm. That's telling yep. you right there, it's not going to be easy. Yep. Yep. It's telling you not going to be easy. 
Yep. Um, yep. Many of us that have started on the road to trying to do the things of God or follow after the word of God, we've, we, we start off strong, you know, and then over a period of time, we get weak. And then you may find yourself slowly falling back into your previous lifestyle until finally you find yourself all the way full blown into your lifestyle. I have experienced that in my own personal life more times than I can count on all five things to both my hands and both my feet. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> and, sure. and, and, and I That's will cool. tell you, I will tell you folks, uh, if sin wasn't fun, everybody will be able to break away from it. There it is. And that's a sh- and that's and that's a shout out to all of you self righteous ones that think you so there holier you than thou that mm. uh, you didn't have fun when you were sinning. Stop mm-hmm. lying and tell the truth. Bro. You know you had that's a whole lot s- of fun. That's funny you said that, bro. Because I was like saying, you know, I I was giving the analogy of a court case, right? You know, because we know that Christ is our advocate. I was giving that's the right. analogy of standing before a holy and righteous God one day. Across the courtroom is my accuser who has taken note of every right. wrong thing that I've done. So right, and he's right, not lying. Right. He has yeah. everything right. written down. And so I imagine the Supreme Judge asking me, like they did John in the wilderness, Brown, who are you and what do you have to say for yourself? Mm. Bro, you know what I'm going to have to say? I'm guilty. Guilty, right. But what I'm grateful for is my advocate will be able right. to stand up and say, right. yeah, but I can I can vouch for this. Thing. Right. And see, that's why when I hear all these self-righteous cats speak. The supreme the attorney for defense. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and I, I think we already know there's going to be a whole bunch of bro. prosecuting attorneys in bro. the room. But... <laughs> and, and they're going to be right. They're going to have the proof in their hands. You get what I'm saying? So I was like, no. So I, I, I look forward to that piece. And, and I like to throw a scripture at those that have picked up titles and positions and who like to be stuffed shirts. Right, One of right. the first scriptures I've ever learned, one of the first ones I've ever learned was Romans 3 and 23. And it says, for all have sinned mm-hmm. and come short of the glory oh. of God. So I said, oh, all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All. Not, not some. All. <laughs> so so, so we, have to, we have to be yeah. checked. This is all have sinned. That's one of the first ones I remembered. And, the, and so right. when I come across these cats and they like that, I look at them, I'm like, man, shame on you. Because yeah. the only reason why you're standing here is by God's grace. Oh, absolutely. You know? And you and know script- why? You know why, Minister Kai? Because we're dust. Say it. Say we're it. dust. Say it. And any of you that have ever had dust on your tables in your Ooh. house, you you know how easy it was for you to brush it away? Mm. That's what we are. We're dust. Yeah. I had that conversation, bro, with we some young adults the other day. And I said, if they didn't pump all that junk in our bodies when we die, <laughs> and they put us in the ground, uh, we amount to the same amount of dirt. That's right. Probably about, and you know, I just bought some topsoil out here for my little garden. Yeah. About forty pounds of it. You know how much I paid for it? How much? About, about seven bucks. Wow. So, so, it, it ain't so, even. It, it ain't even worth that much. <laughs> <laughs> you see where I'm coming from? So I'm like, Come uh, on humble now. yourself, <laughs> humble you yourself go. before the mighty hand of God. <laughs> Seven bucks because bro. you're nothing but dust. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. This is wonderful, brother. I'm so Sick. pleased to have you on the stream tonight. Oh, and, man, again, and I appreciate <laughs> you inviting me, man. I really do. This did a whole lot for me, brother, to, for my soul, man. I really man, appreciate man. you, brother. <laughs> I heard your voice. Like I told you, when you, when you called me the other day, no, when I called you, I said, man, this is the first time in decades that I've heard you speak directly to me. And that was a blessing, man. Like yes, sir. Said, yes, sir. Blessing. It was and a blessing so we, for me to hear you, hear your oh, voice. Man. We go we go way back, Minister Kai. Way Kyle. back, way back. <laughs> You know, trying to rap on the mic. We thought we was gonna yeah. be rap artists. <laughs> like I told you, I still got the cassette though. I'm gonna put that on DVD. Yeah. <laughs> I want I gotta hear that. Just for yeah. just just for laughs and giggles, you know what I'm oh, saying? Bro. But yeah, that's so funny, brother. Oh man, oh man. We thought we was gonna be rappers, brother. Yes, sir. We really yes, did. Sir. See, yes, God sir. has something entirely different in mind. We mm. were definitely gonna be speaking on the mic though. And the beautiful thing is, is what I look at um, for many years, I've watched you um, carry the the title, if I can use that for lack of better terms, okay. uh, minister. 
and you weren't and you weren't wrong and mm. and that was the thing you weren't wrong and the reason being is in, and i look at that because i'm big on definition okay. you know we know a minister is nothing short of a servant that's all and and in times right. of antiquity the minister didn't even have the privilege of speaking the word he could only carry the word right and so that's why i love that i mean like I, I run into people and ask me, why do you call yourself minister instead of pastor? Da, 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 da. I said, because I'm always wanting to be reminded that I'm a servant right. and a servant first. And, right. you know, right. and the funny thing is, is we got people who are caught up on, on titles. But here That's it right. is, man. What we do is not a it's not an occupation. It's not a vocation. That's right. It's a calling. And it's That's and it's right. not something we did; it's something God did. And so I believe right. if we ever get to that point where we can be mindful of that, we wouldn't be so puffy and so That's haughty. Right. We would we'd actually stay humble before uh, before the Father. But because everybody's competing for titles and positions, and That's right. it's funny how I was talking to someone the other day that was talking about retiring, and I'm like, how do you retire from this? <laughs> How do you, re I, I mean, unless it's your occupation, how do you retire from this? Because the block still hasn't changed. That's right. So so how could you retire? If, if you retire and I retire, then who stands on the block? That's right. That's right. You know? So it's a, it's, a, right. It's, a, it's a messed up mindset that we have. That's and right. so I just want to, again, I just want to encourage you. But you have been carrying that. You've been carrying that for years. And, and I've noticed that. And I said, you weren't wrong. Yes. You weren't wrong one time because I've watched you. And like I said, to be able yeah. to put yourself in a vulnerable position, knowing that you were going to be disrespected and possibly even spat on and kicked in the face. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's strength right there. That's strength right there. Thank and, you. I and appreciate again, you, brother. I, I speak blessings on you because you. of that, man. I really do. I appreciate you for that. And I will tell you one thing about, uh, I'll I tell you the burden that I've always had a lot, many times in my life is... I've asked God this question. I said, I didn't graduate from any Ivy League college. I didn't go to Harvard or Yale. I didn't, I don't have any letters behind my name outside of the letters that spell my name. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And, but yet, yet I know things. And, uh, and the burden of knowing. Mm -hmm. it's put it's placed upon you to have to tell it uh yes. so that's it, it it comes with a a blessing in some way and sometimes it feels like a, even a curse yep. because it's like uh yep. once you know you can't unknow yeah and yep. now you have to tell it yeah it's and so you know you're gonna that. yeah and you know yeah, you're gonna just, tell you're gonna you're gonna offend people you're gonna yeah, people gonna be yeah. I, i'm i'm certain that i'm misunderstood with yep. all of my streams. Yep. Um, yep. One thing that's going to shock many is the conversation tonight because it's like, hold up, is that that guy? <laughs> <laughs> that guy that, that's on here bashing women? Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 that that yeah, woman yeah. hater, that woman <laughs> hater, you know? Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 I got you. <laughs> Is that the same you. guy? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should go back and listen to some of the streams again, <laughs> and I actually might hear the spirit behind the conversation. Oh, there you, you know, go. There yeah. You go. Because at the end of the day, what I what I desire is for us to be better mm -hmm. and to do better mm -hmm. on all areas of our life, regardless of mm -hmm. what it is, relationship wise. Mm -hmm. um, but more importantly, what I do understand, and I've come to really clearly understand, is that all of what I talk about, none of it will change until we get back to what we're discussing tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, and I believe everything about us, where men are concerned and our bad behavior, the whoremonger mentality that we have, where we think we could just run through women and that's okay, or that defines manhood. That's all based on our fact that we've been that we've fallen away completely from God. Yep. That's a spirit as well. Yep. Our yep. women and how they behave and how loose and irresponsible they behave with themselves in terms of their body, which is supposed to be sacred yep. and only available to their husband yep. is all based on a spirit. Yep. Say that. Everything we see yep. that goes in contrast 
to what thus saith the Lord is based on a spirit. That's right. And it's not the spirit of God. It in fact is yeah, the yeah. spirit of Satan, no doubt. That's right. That's right. And uh and with long when we can understand that is when we start making the turn. You know, and the turn is not easy. You mm -hmm. know, the turn is not easy. And uh God knew, he knew that many of us, most of us, he knew that most of us would love evil more than we loved him. Yep. And that's why he had to enlarge hell. Yep. Hell was enlarged for a reason. Yep. You know? Yep. But uh Jerusalem was never renovated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell got renovated though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was enlarged. Mm -hmm. And uh and I believe it's gonna be enlarged even more. <laughs> we already uh, know it's only a, oh, it's only a remnant. Brother. It's only a remnant that's gonna make it. So. Oh brother, that's only a remnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only a remnant, man. And, and 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 those of us that make it are barely gonna make it. So we need to be thinking like that. Barely. <laughs> barely. You know? Oh brother. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like yeah. a, it's gonna be like graduating from high school where you had a <laughs> You had C minuses all through high school. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you know, sir. and you yes, might sir. have that one D minus, <laughs> and you're gonna need the mercy and grace of God to let you in because you didn't actually there fail. You, there you Got go. a D minus. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, man! Yes, oh sir. brother! Yes, sir. You know, mm -hmm. uh, may may God have mercy on all of us and yes, our sir. shortcomings because we all got to leave this earth at some point and right. uh and we're all getting close me and you we're yeah. getting close brother we closer we closer than we were yesterday i know yeah. <laughs> honor the honor the hoary head <laughs> yes sir yes sir i, mm -hmm. I gotta admit i don't like honoring the hoary head so uh, god forgive me for that i don't like it man i don't like the silver i don't like the silver <laughs> I got tired of playing with it, man. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> all the dyes and fries oh, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but at some point, we can't. At one, at some point, that won't even matter. That's right. At the end of the day, uh, all of it is vanity. Yep. And uh, you know, when you get right down to the core of things, right to the when the rubber really meets the road. Mm -hmm. it's about it's about us getting our life together to the point when we leave this physical earth mm -hmm. that, that our eternal soul is saved you know yeah. that's what it's really all about yeah. and yeah. unfortunately we're going to lose mm -hmm. a lot of people those that we love in this earth it's going to be family members that we lose mm -hmm. um we've buried family members that yeah, we, we know. Yeah. already know yeah. what their destination is yeah. even yeah. though even though at the funeral the pastor won't tell the truth you know uh they love to put everybody in heaven but mm -hmm. uh you know all of us no but none of us could put any one of us in mm -hmm. heaven or hell yeah god makes that determination but based on scripture we know mm -hmm. we know yeah, yeah. i we tell know. him don't ask me to come because i ain't lying so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna tell the truth <laughs> hey, don't ask me to come if you don't want yeah. no truth uh-huh so, you know pookie was a hellraiser yes, you know sir. you know yes, pookie sir. did drive-bys every yes, day sir. come on man you yes, know sir. he never ever gave god no time in his mm -hmm. whole life mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know it mm -hmm. uh we all get to the altar whether we get there walking or whether we get yeah. there on four wheels yeah but yeah. we all get there and yeah. uh the question is how will you get how will you arrive yeah you know i just another thing though i brought i'm hoping that we can get those of us who are responsible to take yeah. the rocket science out of getting to the father. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people get discouraged because we, you know, we make it seem like you got to jump through this hoop, that hoop, this hoop, that hoop, or like you said earlier, you got to get yourself right first, which you'll That's never right. do. Which you'll you know? never do. You'll never no. do it. No. no, no. And so, I mean, and, yeah. and so many, and I'm not knocking it. I'm not yeah. knocking it, but here it is. You know, we want to always use Romans 10 and 9 and make people repeat after me, Romans 10 and 9, <laughs> you know, um, to the point where it's just a ritual. Now, you were yeah. talking religion uh, earlier, so it, it just became a ritual. But, yeah. but my, my Bible tells me 
that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's right. simple. That's right. simple. You get what I'm saying? And so right. you, you get that simple, but it's too simple because now, yeah. you know, it doesn't take up enough time in the service. But right. we got to get to a point where we take the rocket science out of it. And at the same point in time, we have to also put the standard out. The Bible right. says that without holiness, no one can see God. Facts. So That's a fact. we need to make sure that we, we put that out there. You can't live yeah. like hell and walk in heaven. You know, you <laughs> no. can't do that. <laughs> no. You know? So we, <laughs> no. we have to put it out just like that. And, and we have to be willing to look in the mirror in the morning and That's see the right. green book on our face and be like, Lord, I need a little help with this. I need help you with know? that, right. Yeah. So, so no, nah, I am. Um, this is, man, I tell you what, I've been looking forward to this. I have. I've been looking forward to and this. And I'm going to I'm gonna have you, uh, uh, God willing, on the stream again with me. We're going to have other subjects. I'm going to put some stuff together because I truly enjoy right. this. Uh, this blessed me and I, I'm, I hope it blessed you as well. So. Oh, man. I, yeah. Like I said, this, is, this has been great, man. Like I yes, said, I, I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, just to sit with you, chop it up, yes, sir. And, and hopefully, you know, maybe pour something that someone can use. You know, yes, uh, if I've spoken anything or if we've spoken anything that's nutritious, eat it. But if not, spit it out. You know, that's, that's, right. that's the way I put it. But no, I, I really appreciate this. I appreciate it too as well, brother. And uh, shout out to all of you that got on the stream tonight. Those of you that engaged, I appreciate your engagement and your comments. All were absolutely wonderful. And uh, shout out to all of you that see the stream on my YouTube channel. As you come into the building, I pray that you hit the subscribe button and the share button. Let's get this kind of information out. There's enough dark, negative information mm -hmm. out there. It really mm -hmm. is. Yep. Um, it's, it's about time that we start sharing some information that's absolutely positive. So as you come into the building, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and support the channel if you should feel in your heart to do so. And that's that Cash App, capital C, capital G, four zero. Three, three. And with that, I thank you all for your support. This has been absolutely a blessing, Minister Kai. <laughs> no, love you. you. I love you, my love brother. You too, man. I love you, too, man. <laughs> yes, sir. This, is, this, is, this has been a blessing, yes, man. Sir. I, yes, sir. <laughs> I thought I missed it, so I was getting all upset. No, the other day. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have done it without you, brother. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> yeah, no, man. sir. <laughs> so I see Sheila Johnson on here, so we got some potters crossing. Yeah, folks on here tonight. yeah. That's what's up. Shout out to Sheila. Shout out to Gail. Shout out to Gail Reed for getting on the channel. Shout out to Abdul. Shout out to all of you. I can't see you for some reason. I, I wanted you all to put your names in to let me know who you were because somehow when you stream uh, from StreamYard to Facebook, they won't allow me. I'll just see you as Facebook user. But so I do appreciate you all for getting on the stream. And if I couldn't call your name out, don't charge it to my head don't charge it to my heart charge it to my head i can't see you so with that being said i hope everyone was blessed with this uh stream tonight and uh let's concentrate on try to concentrate on the things of god myself as well we all need god's strength we can do nothing of ourselves. we're all weak marshmallows on a hot summer sidewalk <laughs> yes sir yes sir yes sir you know so uh we all need god's help and we all need god's uh mercy and grace so with that being said uh again i thank you for getting on the stream tonight minister kai and we'll get on again yes, sir bless get, you have all, a brother. bless you have a fantastic weekend or week what's left and um hey we got to come together again man yes sir yes, yes sir. sir god yes, bless sir. you my brother god bless you brother have a blessed night you too yes sir good night folks Good night, folks. I thank you all for getting on the stream. I am your host, Charles Chambers. It's been another blessed and fantastic stream of Let's Talk About It Now. Have a good night and have a blessed weekend. <laughs>